Hello everyone, this is the Tornado Tube. Now what we sell with the Tornado Tube is this little connector right here. And what we've attached it to are two ordinary two liter soda bottles. We're using two liter soda bottles, you don't have to. You can use one liter soda bottles, you can even use the 16 ounce bottles. All we've done is we filled one of the bottles up with water. We added a little food coloring so you could see a little better. You don't have to do that, but we thought it looked a lot nicer. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to turn it upside down and at first nothing's going to happen. A little bit of dribbling will go through, but the problem is, is that water has too much surface tension for it to go bubbling through and the air has to go somewhere and just really doesn't have an easy time of it. So what the tornado tube does is that if I start to twirl this thing, that causes the spin that makes it go down and starts a tornado in the top of the tornado tube. You know, we occasionally get people asking us, well, in the Northern Hemisphere does it go clockwise, or in the Australian Hemisphere or Southern Hemisphere does it go counterclockwise? It doesn't matter. It all depends on which way you spin it, because your, the motion you apply to this thing is much bigger than what's known as the Coriolis effect, which only affects hurricanes and other tornadoes and things big like that. But in this case, this thing is too small, and the force I put onto it, which I'll demonstrate by doing it in the other direction, Now my tornado, you can see that, is going in the other direction. So next time someone tells you that the water's going to go clockwise or counterclockwise down the sink just because you're in the northern or southern hemisphere, you can tell them they're wrong.